Washington. Fresh data suggests the prospects for America's workforce may be improving. It is 8 p.m. in Washington, 9 a.m. in Hong Kong and Shanghai. Welcome. And the big question is whether unemployment is down because more and more people are dropping out of the labor force after just giving up. So we turn to the so-called underemployment rate. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good evening, I'm Elaine Reyes, and welcome to the very first edition of America's Now. Come on. Tonight. Roll server. Yeah. This was once the most wanted woman yeah. in Colombia. Yeah. Like so. Making television is making television no matter who you're making it for, and covering the news is covering the news no matter who you're covering it for. So while there are some differences, uh, they are minor. The task is virtually the same. Here at CCTV, what drives the editorial agenda of the day is um, basically what's happening here in the U.S. and also what's happening in China and the interaction between the two because uh, that's the bridge that we're here to create. We have correspondents all over Latin America. Um, we have a correspondent in Cuba who has just started sending pieces in. And there are some very exciting things going on in Cuba right now. Uh, it's in a big transition. And so I've been very excited to see the quality of the pieces that are coming out of Cuba. But really all over Latin America, Peru, Colombia, um, uh, Brazil. If several pieces coming out of Brazil as they're getting ready for their big world sporting events. Um, so it's, it's very exciting. Quality is very high. By the Revolutionary Armed Forces, or FARC, who fought a gruesome war day. FARC, although far from defeated, had been pushed back into remote jungle hideouts with many members captured or killed by government across the Americas. I never thought I would be doing this. Um, you know, it's it's giving me a chance to learn more about myself and, and explore my own heritage and my own identity and coming full circle with the things that I grew up with and the things that I've learned along the way in school, meeting other people. Um, I think I bring a unique perspective where I can um, see things from an international view, but now I get a chance to actually talk about those things to other people. All right, for more breaking news right now, we go straight to CCTV's Julian. Uh, growing spending, consumer spending, and business inventories. Now, uh, many Americans are getting an increasingly interest to know more about China, what is happening in China, especially in the business and trade area. So I think it was, it is very uh, exciting and interesting uh, for me to tell a story uh, to them about China and also to let the Chinese audiences know what is happening in the States from my perspective. So uh, obviously I want to kind of work at a work as a bridge between the two nations and the two cultures and maybe the two economies. Wang Wang has just returned from the capital. He was there last night for the State of the Union address. We've already seen the beginning of the campaign, I take it. Good evening, Mike. The State of the Union address last night sounded more like the State of the Campaign. After all, this is the first major opportunity for President Obama to address his constituents. We have this immersion, this fusion of international stuff with the Chinese stuff. And secondly, we're producing programs out here in the D.C. and uh, we enjoy a high degree of autonomy, editorial independency uh, from the programs in Beijing. Occupy Wall Street began last September in Wall Street at a park in New York City and all around the United States, both on the West Coast and on the East Coast. And now police are cracking down. 
Thank you so much. Jessica Stone, uh, Live well, Force tonight. Thank you so much. Well, the international English magazine called The Economist is trying to get the scoop on China. Yeah. Our CCTV so Beijing correspondent, Wan Shen Ye, talked with Xi Xi Tao, the chief representative at The Economist, about the new section devoted to China. I'm Mike Walter in Washington, D.C., and this is The Heat. Would that make it more palatable to you, Mark? No, in fact, if anything, it'd be worse because, you know, the, the point of immigration is to uh, make Americans, in other words, to let people in who are, you know, over time and their kids will become one of us. This is phenomenal. I think I've been a broadcast journalist for more than a quarter century. There aren't a lot of new things out there uh, that are really unique. I mean, it's all been done before. Uh, this is unique. This is new. And it's really exciting. And it's uh, bringing together this incredible team of international journalists, all with the same goal in mind. And uh, it's, been, it's been very exciting. And I think when people flip on CCTV for the first time and watch what we're doing here, they're going to be surprised. It's, it's going to be uh, something that they've never seen before. A look at some of the mixed signals of the state of the U.S. economy, plus Europe's financial fiscal pumps continue to ripple through many key industries. Airliners are now bracing themselves for possible. There's a lot going on, but for the viewer standpoint, what they see is a very clean show that shows them an example of all the top headlines from Asia, Europe, and America, and not just the numbers, but something more in-depth and more insightful, something they can use uh, on a daily basis to help their business and help their portfolio. Too. <laughs> Ruth is part of a growing group of women in Brazil who, according to it's an awesome responsibility to be given the uh, trust of such a great network to be able to deliver something that's so important to them and so important to me. We've got to get this right, we've got to be accurate, we've got to be slick, we've got to be professional. Um, and it's an awesome responsibility because it's such a respected brand and we've got to get this right. CCTV America brings together about a hundred journalists with international backgrounds that come from all over the world to work here in Washington and put together a product that is quite unique, that reflects those backgrounds. And it's a very interesting time as well in an industry that a lot of people are being laid off, a lot of jobs are being lost, and a lot of media are actually downsizing. This is a chance for expansion and people are really excited to be part of that opportunity. This is a natural outgrowth of China Central Television. CCTV has 42 channels, which can reach 1.2 billion audience in China. But the, the, the domestic market is almost saturated. So we're only seeking uh, growth points on the global market. But uh, only less than five uh, months later, we have a And this thing has been working very hard, as you have noticed. They've been they, they working day and night. We uphold the traditional journalistic values. Uh, we consider accuracy, objectivity, uh, truthfulness, and the public accountability very important, more important than anything else. Um, we will strive to um, provide good journalism, high quality television, and alternative views. Everybody say Happy New Year.